at the medical man cave, we are really trying to be cutting edge. So that goes with the way we approach everything with our hair transplant, which is different than other companies. So the number one thing, first of all, we use uh, an Artist IX robot for extraction. So this has artificial intelligence and it's actually looking at each hair follicle and picking the thickest hairs and the follicles with the most hairs coming out of it. So it's picking the very best ones to be transplanted. Since those hairs never fall out once we transplant them, I mean, that picking the best ones obviously is the, the, the prime thing. The other thing that we do, uh, that the robot does actually, is makes really concise, tiny holes, so they'll heal a lot faster, and a, lot, a lot less scarring. From the front to back, the whole thing is about what are we gonna make the hair, how are we gonna make those most viable, all right? So there's multiple things we do. Um, first of all, we do hyperbarics, which is, I think there's maybe one or two other people in the whole country doing it. So what the hyperbaric chamber does is, it pushes high oxygenation concentration into your tissues. So we do that prior to the transplant, which gets those hair cells starting to heal and grow and be better. So when we actually extract them out of the head, they're actually gonna survive longer. So the other things that we do to make things quicker is that we make all the sites prior. So what is site? Sites is where we're actually gonna put the hair. So it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, most people do it after they've extracted the hair. So what that does then is uh, that delays that hair, it's sitting out of the body for an extra hour. So we do that prior. Then you gotta think of what you're gonna do with that hair while it's out of the body waiting to get put back in. So the, the one thing that we do is any transplant that goes from like mid head backwards, th that hair gets put in immediately. It doesn't go to a dish. It doesn't go sit in anything. There is somebody constantly placing hairs. So we may have half your case placed with the average time of the hair being out of the body, two, three minutes. So that's unbelievable. So while we're actually implanting your hair afterwards, you're uh, on oxygen. So that whole soft tissue around where we're putting the hair in is getting hyper oxygenated. So when we make the site, you're disrupting blood flow. So it takes about five days for that blood flow to actually get back grow. So those five days are so important. So we're getting you, uh, that area oxygenated, oxygenates that, that hair follicle immediately, and then we put you back in the hyperbaric chamber right after. So immediately when you're done getting implantation, you're going to the hyperbaric chamber. And since that, those hair follicles are getting whatever oxygen's in the tissue around it, that's how they're getting their oxygen, we're forcing high pressure, high volume oxygen. So instead of you getting a hair transplant and your hair starting to grow at six months, maybe nine, maybe a year, 50% of your hair starts growing immediately. So it's it's been you know, almost revolutionary kind of thing that we're doing. We also use exosomes, which are stem cell uh, signaler that tell the body to heal. So uh, that, when we inject those around the sites, that's telling that instead of that hair follicle to go into shock, it's telling it to start healing and grow. So. The whole combination with hyperbarics telling the body to heal will not only heal the hair that we're putting in, but make you thicker with what you had left. It's pretty great.